Welcome to my channel as we discuss how to start online business as a teenager in Nigeria. I will carry you from your idea to reality in online business. I will first start by saying congratulations for being on this channel to search how to start a business, online business, as a teenager here in Nigeria. Before I go deep, I will tell you that you are lucky because you are listening from someone who has been there over years. Let me tell you, I've made money as a freelancer. I'm a big time blogger. I own this YouTube channel you are watching. I'm a big time affiliate marketer. I'm a content creator. I am an a certified NS SEO from Allison. Why do I do this? It's not to brag. It's just to tell you that I have been in the terrain for years. So I know where you are now. And I know where you want to be. So stick as we discuss this matter holistically. Before I go into deep, let me tell you the mistake I had in my early days in online journey. The mistake I had was that, or I made, was that I was looking for that top secret. I was looking for that magic button so that money would keep flowing. There is nothing like that. You must follow the principles of online business to make money online. Take note of that. Then the mistake I did was that I did not pay attention to importance of a mentor. When I mean a mentor, someone who is doing it and who is willing to carry you along, I did not pay attention to it. I was not willing to pay for it. So it made me, it kept me behind for a very long time. So if you are listening to me, the information you have today, they are enough to make you a good online marketer. So what you do is pay attention, follow this video step by step. Anyway, you don't understand, ask question in the com content, uh, comment section below. Subscribe you will get to know the principles of starting an online business in Nigeria as a teenager. Now, why do you want to go online? The importance of going online. We have three main reasons for going online. One, you have a wider audience. You will cover so many areas. You can be here in Nigeria selling things to those in the U United Emirates, Arab, Arab UAE, UAE and so on, so on and so forth. All part of the world, you can sell from there. So you have a wide audience. Secondly, the entry barrier is low. You don't need to spend much to start an online business. All you need to pay attention is time. You pay attention to time, learn, and with little entry, financial entry, you will become successful in online business. Thirdly, it is flexible. It's something you can dedicate two hours, three hours a day, and you are good to go over time because you have to be consistent. Consistency there means even if it is one hour or two hours every day, put it into your journey. This is exactly the secret of becoming successful online business. Man. Now, what are the types of online businesses we have? We have so many of them. I will try to list as much as I can. One, we have the e-commerce. That is selling of physical products via online. We have blogging. That is presenting information, all you know, on a WordPress or any other platform you can choose. We have YouTube, creating channels and make sure that, that those channels gives you money. We have freelancing, we have SEO, we have so many online businesses you can choose to do. 
Now, here comes the secret. You must study all this, all these online businesses one after the other. When I mean studies, to cover the scope, you know what scope does this take? For instance, freelancing is all about rendering services through established online platforms or via your own blog. Uh, E-commerce is selling products via your own blog or through WhatsApp. Then blogging, writing down your information, the information you have. YouTube, creating quality and educative videos for people to listen. Now, when you look at all this content, you make a choice. You choose what? A niche. You choose a niche. Now, some of these may go via, um, some of these may be similar to your passion. Some of them may not be close to your passion, but they are learnable, they are doable. So after you have, from the lists now I've done, or you go online and search, list of online businesses, read anyone that suits you. What do you do? You do market research. But I'm telling you out of experience, every online business you have there have audience. If you want to go into YouTube, what niche do you know very well how to do? People are there to watch and you get paid for doing it. People are already there waiting for you to bring out the content you have and then they will be there to consume it as long as it is educative. So you become a content creator. Mind you, apart from freelancing or e-commerce, most of the online businesses you do is about creating content for those that will consume it. Then how do people find you? People find you by creating what we call online presence. You either create your own blog. Mostly, or more conveniently, create social media presence. Every social media, for instance, the Facebook, the X, we have a lot of social media. They have various, various audience peculiar to them. Facebook, on the Facebook, we have Facebook groups where you can go and showcase what you know how to do better, how to do it fine. So you create your, what we call it, you create your online presence. Content is king. Content is king. As I said, for you to be on online, you must be ready to create content or less if you want to render services. Now, if you are rendering services, we have platforms that are already well established for you to go and tell them, this is what I can do well. Fiverr, Upwork, uh, can I remember most of them? These are places, they are established. All you do is learn a skill, learn a skill, then go and tell them, this is how I do it. Now, the most easiest way of this, of this freelancing is, we we'll call it arbitrage. I do it very well. I know SEO very well. I mastered it. I'm a certified SEO expert. But what do I do? I go and get the job on those platforms. I outsell them. So I keep playing, joking, flexing with my family while someone is doing the work. At the end of the day, I will deliver and make money. That is for freelancing arbitrage. These are online business models. So after doing that, what do you do? What next do you do? You try to promote yourself. Promote yourself. How do you promote yourself? You pay for traffic in some cases, but I don't suggest you do that. Go organic. Go to those social media platforms. Keep educating people. Telling people the do's and don'ts of the area they are. With time, people will build trust. And in that case, we even be pleading with you to hire you in whatever they are doing. Please ensure that whenever you start getting customers or readership or followership, ensure that you give them the best high quality work, return customer, high quality work. Bring back customers. Make sure you retain them. Build 
quality customer satisfaction. Above all, the online business is dynamic, it's never static. So, because of that, you must read, you must study, you must be there every time to be abreast with the trend so that you'll not be left behind. You may face challenges along the way. There will be time management as a teenager. So the challenges you may, save, you may face along the way is time management. You have limited resources. So you must learn how to plan. I believe you must be a student for searching for how to be, do business online. So you must learn how to balance your education with your working time. That's the challenges or hurdles you overcome as a teenager who wants to start online business. But let me tell you, every business online is very profitable, very, very profitable. So go for it. Take that first step, fail. Second one, fail. Keep doing that one, that particular one you have chosen. Don't jump from one to another. No, please don't do that. Keep choosing. And I bet you in the next 60 to 90 days, the story will not be the same. If you have enjoyed this video or enjoying, please subscribe, comment. Let's share ideas together so that others will learn from us. Thank you for watching.